Hi everyone, you alright? So I'm going to do a slow cooked pork shoulder today with apple sauce. There's my pork, you can see it's a good bit, good big bit. Now that was £14 in money from my local butchers, Pioneer. It's, it's better value to get a bigger piece, even if you don't use it all in one go, you can half that, put half in the freezer. But I always like leftovers, I keep telling you. You know, if you're gonna spend time in the kitchen, make it worth your while, make enough food for two, two days at least. Save your own time and energy, doesn't it? So, pop that into the slow cooker on top of some sliced onions. So pop in a stock pot, beef or chicken, I'm not fussed, put in what you want and then put about an inch of water in the bottom, put a bit of foil over the top and then the lid and that's it. We'll check on it in four hours. And for God's sake, don't forget to wash your hands, it's not worth the grief I get because there will be somebody that says she hasn't washed her hands. I have, you just haven't seen it. <laughs> So this pork's had four hours now. Let's have a look at it, see where we're at. So that's a big bit of meat. It's gonna need another couple of hours. So I've popped four apples in and they'll just cook nicely in there and that's going to be my apple sauce. I'm going to do some Yorkshire pudding batter so I'll give you a quick reminder on that. Whisk it all together so you've got a batter. The odd lump doesn't matter. Fish out your apples and let them go cold. We're gonna have stuffing. Just shop bought, dried, sage and onion stuffing, but we're gonna pimp it up. Remember the onion you put in underneath your pork, fish the onions out and pop them into the stuffing that you've made up. Peel the skin your apples and you want all that lovely apple into a little bowl for your apple sauce. Make sure your meat's all right. Good. Red with having my face in the oven. So the Yorkshire puddings go in a 220 oven, the batter goes into hot oil, and then after 10 minutes you turn the oven down to 200 for 20 minutes. So 220 for 10 minutes, down to 200 for 20. And that stops them from being raw in the middle. I've got a big pan of veg on. I just put all my veg in the same pan. The gravy's getting made in the slow cooker with some gravy granules, the meat juices and some of the veg juices. Scrape the layer of fat off the top. Now you're going to struggle to cut this because look how soft it is. So just do the best you can. 